Hey, what's up guys? Um, so I forgot to mention in the last video um, that there was a way to maintain your uh, Pro Controller software, the Wii and Usoft 2.1 program. Um, so basically what's happening um, is basically a lot of people don't understand how to, uh, you know, detach your um, devices and stuff like that and they're really confused on how to reconnect them sometimes they're not reconnecting properly so i'm just going to address all those issues in this video well at least as many as i can um, so basically what we're going to do right now is just reconnect to the device so let's for example let's say you just got home from school or whatever and you want to connect to your pro controller so what you want to do is head over to bluetooth settings you can go to start type in bluetooth get to bluetooth settings from over here or just click it in the notifications tray so now that you're over here, all you have to do is simply just right click and then hit connect. And once you see this um, window, all you have to do is hit the sync button on your Wii remote. then press OK. All right, so now it's connecting. It should automatically just go straight up to the um, show the screen or icon. And then what you should do is have this open and then all you have to do is refresh it. And then your Pro Controller is gonna head over here. And then um, all you have to do is click this, click identify, and then the LED lights are gonna um, show up, do some cool things. And then you can just attach this as an input device and put this as controller one. You'll hear that sound most probably, and then you'll know that it is um, connected. So now all you have to do is head over to wherever, whatever game you were playing, and then you can just head on and go on. So now let's say you're done with this and you want to go ahead and do your homework or whatever. So basically what you want to do now is simply just, you know, alt tab or close your video game, whatever, and then head over back to the Wii Wii U um, soft program. It's in the notifications bar. Um, so once you do that, open it up and then hit detach right here. Once you've done that, that's all you pretty much have to do. Head over back to the Bluetooth settings. Once again, you can go to start, head over over here, type it in. And that's where you get to Bluetooth settings. All you have to do is right click, oops, right click, and then hit to dis <laughs> hit disconnect. Um, so, so yes, and that should be it. So now your Wii U Pro Controller is off. You can refresh this and it's not going to be there anymore. Um, so yeah, now your Wii Pro Controller is off. It's not wasting battery or anything like that. So yeah, that's pretty much how you um, get the program running and turn, turn it off and all that kind of stuff. Be sure you do de detach the, de the device before you turn off your computer because I've had um, problems with it. So there are problems with um, certain things happening with this. Um, for some reason, some people have been messaging me and telling me that they can't reconnect to this. For some reason, like they connect to it and then it says um, this connection cannot be found, something like that. So what people do is they disconnect, they delete the connection, they try to reconnect it and everything just doesn't work. So the only workaround for this, honestly, is to restart the entire process. And you might be asking, well, how do you restart everything? You want me to do a system restore? Well, no, you don't have to do that. What you want to do is go straight to control panel, head over to control panel, and then just uninstall the Toshiba drivers. You can simply do that by uh, typing in what? Um, Toshiba. Yeah. So then uninstall this Bluetooth stack for Windows by Toshiba. And once you've done that, you're pretty much good to go. Um, and then just restart your computer, and then you have to go to de device manager. So once you reboot your computer, head over to device manager and then get that running. Come over here to Bluetooth and you're probably going to see your old Bluetooth radio device connected. Um, once you do see that, that means everything worked and you're good to go. And you can just follow the previous tutorial and work all the stuff out. Um, but make sure, this is the, this is the big problem. Um, the, top, um, the top software, the Bluetooth radio driver, not this one, the previous one, the one that you did have before, that one, you have to uninstall it and then also delete the driver's software. This is not the one you want to delete. I, I'm just showing you as an example. Um, so when you do see that one, make sure you, del when you're uninstalling it, make sure you delete the software device. I believe it is step 10 in the other video. Um, 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. As long as you uninstall the software for this device, none of those problems will show up, hopefully. I'm just saying that, but I don't know for sure. Um, so yeah, that should probably solve most of your problems if you haven't done that. And then just reinstall the entire program and then reconnect to it and everything should work perfectly fine. Just make sure you detach the program when you're done using it and when you're restarting your computer. Um, so yeah, yeah, I know it's tedious. It's kind of annoying to use. The, the software itself is pretty buggy. Um, unfortunately, but you know it works and you it doesn't have to be as tough as you might think it is um, as long as you do the correct steps to maintain the program. So anyway, with that said, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Um, thanks for watching guys. Really appreciate all the um, support from you guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And with that, I'll see you guys later.